One of the biggest news in iOS 15 is the feature that you can get notified if you leave things behind. For example, your AirTag and the stuff that you have attached your AirTag to. But what is not mentioned is that this feature is finally also available for the iPhone. And I don't know how many times I've been putting my iPhone somewhere, I'm leaving, and I, after a while, remember that, holy crap, I forgot my iPhone there and I still have my Apple Watch on, but it doesn't notify me, and there has been no feature to get notified that you actually have left the iPhone behind somewhere. So now, finally, that feature is here, and now we're gonna put it to the test. So to name of this feature, you go into the Find My App, you go to your devices, you click on your phone, and then when you scroll down, you have Notify when left behind, and check and make sure that that one is turned on. Notify me when left behind, turn it on, and in this case, I don't wanna have an limitations so I have taken away the notify me exceptions at positions as standard you usually have your home position as an exception but in this case I've cleaned up this list so I should get a notified all the time when I leave my phone behind I'm gonna leave my phone here in this bike garage I'm gonna put it here oh and then we're gonna start walking and on my watch, I can see that I'm still connected to the iPhone because if I'm not connected, I'm gonna get a little red icon up at the top of the dial that show that the phone is no longer connected to the iPhone. So now it's just time to start walking. So we can see whenever we lose the connection to the phone and how long it will take before we get notified, if we gotta get notified because, well, because if you've seen the previous video when I tested the AirTag, it was a little bit sketchy. Sometimes you got notified and sometimes you did not get notified. And we couldn't really figure out how far away or how long in time you need to be separated before that push notification to show up on your phone. So let's walk and see what's going on. Still, it said, oh, now we lost the connection to the phone. Do you see that little icon at the top there? That little red icon means that we are no longer connected to the phone. And that didn't take long. We are just maybe 50 meters away from that phone. As I said earlier in the previous video, it was one time when I actually went all the way to an airport. I was in Vancouver and I didn't realize that I didn't have my phone until I was at the airport, so I had to ship that phone by mail. Oh my God, I just got a notification. Look, it says Matt's iPhone left behind. I got a notification that I don't have my phone anymore. This is just amazing. And I think it's about maybe four or five minutes since I left the phone at home and I have walked about maybe 200 or 250 meters maximum away from my phone and I got notified. The troublesome times are gone. I will never ever anymore need to walk away from my phone just because I forget it somewhere. Thank you so much Apple for bringing this into the Apple Watch and the iPhone finally. I've been waiting for this all since Apple Watch Series 1 and I know that I sent a feedback request to Apple all the way back there as well and now finally so many versions later it's finally here and it's working thank you so much now I'm gonna get back to the phone and I'm gonna set up one of these permitters permitters one, one of these radius that I don't want to get notified until I pass that distance away from my phone or before I go a certain amount of meters away from that position that I set. So I'm gonna see if that limit is working and if I will just pass that distance and then I got notified. Let's see how that works. So I'm back here and this is for the setting, a new location for notify me except at. I'm gonna set this position and then we're gonna see if I'm gonna be able to walk all the way to the Ica, that's a grocery store that is over there. So in, according to this one, I'm gonna be able to walk just over to where that grocery store is, and then I should get notified. So let's click done for this device. Let's try it. I'm gonna leave my phone here again, and then let's go for another little stroll and see how this works. We're gonna again see whenever we lose the connection of the phone and see if it's going to save this GPS radius so it knows when I'm going to get notified. This is exciting. This is really exciting. I love this experiment. So let's see whenever we are getting far enough from this watch or from the clock. Oh, here we got the icon at the top there. 
we're gonna see the phone that is crossed. That means that we are no longer connected to the phone. And now I'm approaching the Ica store, the grocery store over here. So let's see if we get the notification or not. So here is this little tiny corner shop, this little grocery store. So let's see if we're gonna get a notification anytime soon when we have passed this one. But now I have passed the Ica store and now we are about where that radius of that circle is. So anytime soon, if this is working, we should get a notification now that we have left our phone behind. So Apple, how is it going with the precision of your settings? Because on that radius, when you pull that little thing to adjust how far away that is going to go, I mean, that is pretty granular. And now I'm at least the twice the set distance away from our phone. If it was set to 200 meters, I'm at least 400 meters away from the phone now. So eh, I don't know about that one. I don't think that is so very particular. I don't think you can rely on that one that, oh, I'm gonna set it on 210.2 meters because then it's gonna be perfect. Well, no, it doesn't seem to work that perfect at all. But I mean, well, it does work, but now we haven't got anything. So this is a little bit sketchy. In the settings, I said that I should get notified when I pass this grocery store over here. But yeah, and I've been walking here. I walked in here. I walked all around all this big building and around the next building as well. And well, I still haven't got notified that I don't have any phone with me anymore. So hmm, I don't know about that feature. So we still haven't got any notification. What we can conclude is at least that we for sure didn't get a notification when we were within this circle. That's for sure. But no, I didn't get notified when I was outside that circle either. So I would not suggest to use that one if you would like to get notified at all, because as it seems to be, it's not very particular, it's not very precise. So if you set that up, who knows, you're maybe not gonna get notified at all. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna use that feature, of course, because I love it. The first trial we did, we got notified. That is fantastic, but I will not use any of those exceptions, radius, areas, features, because, well, I don't think, or it doesn't seem like it's working as good as we, as we should expect it to. But still, thank you so much, Apple, for bringing this feature to the iPhone and the Apple Watch. I've been waiting for it for so many years. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next one. Bye.